It's been a top priority for Guam Veterans Affairs Director Tim Uggen to bring his office into the 21st century. Over the past couple of months, Uggen has been working to acquire the software and equipment to digitize their records and case management systems. To include the data registry of overall registration of the veterans and the cemetery registry for plots and crypts and uh, columbariums for where uh, fallen members are, are buried or interned at. Uggen says his office has been working with the state of Utah, which received a grant from the National VA to provide a veterans information system. Utah has already assisted six states and is now helping Guam. It's a software that tracks and uh, holds all the data uh, that we are receiving training on. And we're in partnership here locally with uh, uh, the Office of Technology for the hardware uh, and all the uh, other peripherals that we need to get this out, of, get us out of Stone Age and into the super in, uh, um, digital highways. According to the director, when they're done with the project, they'll have more than 22,000 records on file of active veterans. This system also provides us uh, interaction with the, it will provide us interaction with Department of Revenue and Taxation for the real property and for the driver's license and license plates. And we'll also, uh, we will have uh, the, the capability of interacting with uh, public health and social services for vital records, uh, for verification of death and birth and, and divorce and all those things that we uh, require for eligibility of benefits. In addition to digitizing their system and improving their services, Uggen says thank you to the recent budget that they'll also be able to hire much needed staff. One area would be for the records management. Secondly, for the administration of this office uh, regarding finance and, and, and grants. And then uh, a full complement of staff at the cemetery. We're going we're gonna to be um, fully staffed at the cemetery. We're going to have all the equipment that is needed. We're, we're going to have uh, new equipment. Um, there's a lot of things that are going to happen over the next six to nine months. As Uggen looks forward to the future, today, though, he reflects and honors our veterans. One thing, uh, as a grandson of a veteran, as a son of a veteran, I myself am a veteran 31 years. As a father of three sons that are veterans, uh, my heart goes out to all the veterans that have uh, made the sacrifice for their service and their families that they were that have supported them throughout all the time. And for those especially that have paid the ultimate price with their lives to protect our freedoms that we enjoy today, I am very grateful from the bottom of my heart and thank you and Sudus Masih.